country here this morning. I'm going to go check the food plots and I'm going to show you what a week of the food plots, what a week has done to the food plots with all the rain that we've been getting and everything that I've been doing. And uh, I picked up a cheap game camera and put up just to kind of see what I was going to get there. And uh, maybe I can show you some pictures of some of that. This is my little trail that I made going to my food plot. And uh, got a little trail that breaks off and goes to where I'm going to set the box stand up at. And I've been watching all along here. And I'm going to include here some still shots of the deer tracks that has been where they've been walking in, in my tracks. And, Walking along my trails. Right off, I don't see anything that's new. Got a game camera set up over there. So let me get over there and download that. See what kind of video I got. All right, the camera's right there. What? Nothing on the camera. It said that there was one picture. When I looked, I couldn't find anything. So it may just have been trying to take a picture of me when I was setting it up. It's kind of what this old poor ground looked like after a week. clover in here. My feet are slinging corn way back here. I don't know why I'm not getting any pictures and video. Yeah, there's more tracks here. I don't know why I didn't get any pictures or video. Something's been coming and getting the corn. Shake them a little bit. They're still working. I might get the test button on it. And make sure they're still working. Give me a countdown. There it is. I didn't push it right. I can swing some corn too. I'm just all back up. Go ahead and try this other one now. 
see what's happening with it. Checking these things, make sure they still good anyway. Uh, they appear to be slinging on. May not have been anything come last night. The reason why I didn't get no picture or video. Oh, this thing. There's tracks. I don't know. Just didn't get any pictures or video. I don't know the reasons for that. They might not have come last night. Yo, Toledo torches are burning and smoking, and they won't be no bugs around this place. That's the Toledo torches. Yeah, them's good to set it around your camp. Keep all the bugs off. Next day, I got a few steel shots on the camera, on the game camera. And, uh, and the next day, I figured out how to set the camera right, so I got some video and all then. I'm still kind of getting some of my hunting stuff ready. My old hat here don't want to fit my head right. It's like my head done swelled up or something. And then uh, kind of putting together some stuff here. For my primitive gun I'm going to shoot. I'll show you a little bit of that in this video too. And also there's going to be some video on there of the deer that I've been seeing. And you see bunch of stuff I'm doing to get ready for this year's hunting season. But, uh, let me turn this camera around here and I'll show you what I'm doing here. All right, what I done was I had to get my chainsaw all cleaned up. You always need to take a chainsaw with you. you. Might get caught. You might have to cut firewood or get caught in a storm and have to cut trees out of the road or something. Empty bottles laying there for my Toledo torches. But uh, what I got here is just some old shells I can go shoot. I got 20 gauge and 12 gauge, some 22 bullets, and some more 22 bullets. I got all my Chamber adapters are in here. Each in my single shot. And break action. And uh, maybe I'll show you a little bit of that. I'll show you a little video of that. You'll see what I'm doing. Let y'all know a little bit about these chamber adapters again. You've probably seen some other videos on it. But I just go out here before season. I just make sure everything still shoots and everything works and it's clean and kind of start getting some of my gear ready so I'm not fidgeting with it in the woods and fiddling with it and things just not right. I like to go to the woods being prepared. So, so stick around. Got a little bit more to show you. 
All right, got this thing set up here. I'm not really shooting for accuracy. I'm just going to shoot to kind of get the feel of everything again. Let me take it. First, I think I'm just going to, I think I'm going to shoot 22 first. Shoot one of the shotgun calibers first, and then I want to be able to see where I hit. Shoot the same cans over and over. The 22 adapter, it's pretty neat. The 22 adapter comes with a little ramrod here. Put it in there, and I try to. I like index mine and make it at the top of the barrel, close to the top of the barrel as I can get it. Makes me feel like it's better that way. I'm going to shoot some of these. These are going to be 22 shorts. I hit close. Mosquitoes and all is coming out. A little hard to concentrate on shooting. Pretty accurate though. Oops. All them little 22 shorts back in there. Long rifle. That would be enough just to try this thing. Alright, wasn't needing the ramrod, but now I need the ramrod. Put a 22 bullet in there, kind of dirty. So you have to rod it up. Now, make sure I'm in there right again. And I'm hitting right next to that can. Most of the problem today is me. Mosquitoes and a net coming out bothering me. I'm not seeing too good down there. I did it again. I keep pulling the trigger when I'm pulling to the right. That's why we out here just getting familiar again. What do we got next here? Let me shoot some nine millimeter. One nine millimeter. Got one nine millimeter. Here. Nine millimeter adapter. Finger slip to the top. Surprisingly enough, I did pretty good on that. That's a 
410 and the 45 caliber adapters. I'm going to put that in. I think I'm going to shoot a couple. I got a couple old uh, three inch buckshot loads for 410 that I can't shoot in anything else I got. Go ahead and shoot them. I can shoot them in these adapters. They may stick a little bit, but I got a way to get them out because it's an adapter and get them out. I don't keep the three inch shells. Tell you, 410 buckshot does put your dead gun good. Another thing you should do when you do these chamber adapters for your shotgun, you need to go and get you a hickory dowel. It will fit down the barrel. Not be tight in the barrel, but you know, have a little room for slack, or use a, one of the aluminum shotgun cleaning rods in case you have to ram anything out, it may get stuck in there. And also, when you get the muzzle loading adapter for the week, that will be your, your ramrod for loading it. It's the 20 gauge adapter. Come here. Shoot some of this old bird shot here. That gun, that thing got a little bit of kick to it. I'm getting them cans with this too. I mean, this is good enough for squirrels and rabbits. You can kill squirrels and rabbits with these. Couple low brass loads. There's a high brass load. I'm going to shoot this high brass load. Yeah, and that hurt a little bit too. Another reason for shooting these chamber adapters, you can tailor them and get them down to some of your smaller caliber gauges. It's not going to hurt you too bad to shoot it if you have a, a bad shoulder or so. Four shot loads of 12 gauge. I'm gonna shoot these. That one don't want to go in, but it is now. That kicked a little bit. Buckle on them overalls are tearing me up. Good enough for squirrels, rabbits right now. So all my chamber adapters and my gun checks out. Pretty good. Move on to something else now. Get some more stuff together. There's some. Uh... It's my 2022-2023 hunting preps. Give y'all some ideas of what maybe y'all need to do. Just remember, though, go out and try to shoot some with your hat, your gear, your vest, you know, uh, your winter clothes, whatever. Whatever you're going to be wearing hunting. Even uh, walk out outside, shoot some with that stuff on. You know, learn it. 
make sure there's nothing bothering you, you know, you got to be able to sit still, you know, when you're sitting on the stand, deer hunting and all, and coral hunting and all, it, it helps you sit still. You know, I know a lot of people that are real noisy, they still kill deer, but I like to be quiet. I like to listen to the game and the birds and everything. So, it's about all I got this time, so y'all stick around. Keep watching my videos. I'll have more of my hunting videos and stuff up this year. Uh, I just failed to post a lot of camping and hunting videos last year. And I might have been with somebody or, or whatever, and they didn't want me to video them. So. But I'll, I'll post a lot more of my stuff this year. I'm, I'll be doing a lot more hunting by myself this year anyway. Because I can't never get anybody to go whenever I want to go anyway, so might as well just go by myself. So. Anyway, that's all I got this time. Y'all just keep watching. Like, share, subscribe, and all that. I'll see y'all next time.